when to use the present perfect. Here's a chart that may help you understand how the present perfect compares to other tenses in English. When should we use the present perfect tense? And what's so perfect about it, anyway? The word perfect might remind us of something without flaws, such as a perfect score on a test, or a perfect balance. But the word perfect has another meaning, too. It comes from the Latin word perfectus, which can describe something that is achieved, finished, or completed. This definition gives us a hint as to one of the ways we should use the present perfect tense to describe actions that have been completed in the recent past. I have just eaten lunch. We have already brushed our teeth. But the present perfect is applied in many other ways, too. It can describe experiences that have taken place at an unspecified moment in the past. We have sat inside that cafe many times. I have seen the Eiffel Tower in person. The present perfect can also describe actions that started in the past and continue into the present. I have lived in Canada for 10 years. She has worked at the university since 1990. Let's review what we've learned so far. The present perfect is used to describe actions completed in the recent past, experiences at an unspecified moment in the past, and actions starting in the past that continue into the present. These categories, although useful guides, might seem overly technical and impractical for the quick thinking required in conversation. There are two other ways we can think about the perfect present tense. First, in relation to signal words, and second, in comparison to the past tense. First, here is a list of words that often signal in a sentence that the present perfect should be used. I have just eaten lunch. We have already brushed our teeth. Have you finished your homework yet? Tom has recently started driving classes. She still hasn't replied to my email. I have felt so tired today. He has never eaten pizza. She has only showered twice this week. Have you ever met Michael? You have worn that dress before. How long have you known each other? They have known each other since 1994. Lately, there have been so many thefts. Hopefully, these words will alert you to the possibility that the present perfect tense should be used. Finally, 
Let's compare the present perfect tense to the past tense. Here's our first comparison. We lived in Brazil from 1990 to 2004. We have lived in Canada since 2004. The past tense expresses a sense of finished time. In this case, an event with a clear ending. They lived in Brazil for 14 years. The present perfect tense, on the other hand, expresses a sense of unfinished time, an event without an ending. They continue to live in Canada. Here's our second comparison. I saw the pyramids in 2008. I have seen the pyramids. The past tense refers to a definite period of time, while the present perfect refers to an indefinite period of time. And here's our third comparison. I lost my iPhone. I've lost my iPhone. If somebody says, I lost my iPhone, perhaps they are telling you a story about what happened when they lost their iPhone. It's an event in the past, an unfortunate one, too, but it seems the drama of the missing phone is over. On the other hand, if somebody said, I've lost my iPhone, the meaning changes dramatically. They have only recently lost their phone, and they are, perhaps, looking for it now and require your help. Let's review how to use the present perfect tense. The present perfect is used to describe actions completed in the recent past, experiences at an unspecified moment in the past, and actions starting in the past that continue into the present. Certain words can signal the present perfect tense, and it can be useful to compare the present perfect to the past tense. Hopefully that's helped you understand when to use the present perfect.